Welcome back to another time-saving tutorial on Microsoft Excel. Okay, today we're looking at Format Painter, a powerful little tool that can save you a lot of time. So here it is up in the top corner of your Microsoft Excel Format Painter, and here's what it does. There are one or two various ways of using this. Let's just demonstrate. So uh, first of all, let's just uh, color this cell in. Uh, we'll change it to white text. Uh, we'll make it bold, we'll even make it italic. Okay, we want to apply this to all of these titles up here without repeating those processes over and over again. Uh, click Format Painter, and well, we've selected that cell first of all. Um, we've clicked Format Painter, and a little paintbrush icon appears, boom, and in it goes. Uh, of course, you only get to do that once. We want to apply that to all of our titles up here. Uh, so we can actually double click. So there's two ways. There's the single click and the double click. If we double click Format Painter, like so, um, it will now allow us to say boom, 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 uh, and apply like so. Uh, to come back out of it again, you click it again, Format Painter, and that releases it and you're back into normal working mode. Uh, this can be applied to all kinds of things here. Uh, let's say we want to take the, the we want to just center the, uh, the data here in the middle. Uh, of course, we could just select the cells and just center them, but uh, just to demonstrate Format Painter, because it can it's quite powerful for other things as well as just how the sheet looks. You can actually copy formulas in. Um, so Format Painter, we've just selected this cell here. Uh, I want to center the cell. If I drag the little uh, black cross down, what's going to happen here? You'll see the 1005, 1006. If I drag down like so, it's going to change the numbers all to 1005. We don't want that to happen. We just want the thing to, to look as we want it to look. For example, um, we want to, just for the, the, the purpose of demonstration, uh, we'll just give it some some sort of formatting and we've centered it um okay so and we'll bold that okay so we want this formatting to apply without changing the the numbers the data uh so double click format painter and we simply drag down and you can see what's happened there and that's it we can come back out of there now and it's applied the formatting to the entire column uh, dates here you'll see it's a bit of a mess some some are using one format some another um, so we want to well we want to use this date format here um, so format painter uh, we'll double click that and we'll apply it to the entire the entire column and it's fixed all the dates for us. Um, we can go one step further. Let's come out of there. Uh, let's say I want the, the date. I don't want it to say 2020. We just want it to say the 20 at the end. Um, I'm going there for uh, format, format cells. And we change the to the, the format we want. Like so. Uh, happy with that. I'm happier now with the way that looks. I want to apply that to all of the, the entire column. Boom. Done. Um, so that's us really. Uh, just bring that in a wee bit, um, and that's it. We can uh, we can do the same if, uh, if there's currency in this cell. Of course, we could just uh, highlight the the entire column and tell it it's currency. But the the way you've laid your sheet out might not apply. Um, so you could tell it the top the top one is currency. Uh, so there we go, um, and the currency's gone in. We can format paint that. So we, we want to fill this first of all, it's turned it to currency and the total as well. Boom. Uh, so Format Painter, powerful little tip um, and tool rather, which hopefully should save you some time. Thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe, then hit subscribe. If you don't, don't. Um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.